Hello my friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Toyota Yaris Cross 2022 model and in this video we will make the test drive. We will see how is to drive this new Toyota Yaris Cross. I'm really curious about that. What is the difference between Yaris Cross and Toyota Yaris? How is the visibility, the comfort here? How is the steering wheel, the acceleration and everything about this Toyota Cross you will find out in this video guys. So stay with me until the end of the video. Before we start the test drive just click the subscribe button if you want to see the full review with the car i have a separate video on my channel there you can see the full review probably it's already on the channel if it's not already on the channel just click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out and before we go forward i want to tell you that this car come in two versions with 125 horsepower and 160 horsepower so the model that i have it with me is the all-wheel drive i with 160 horsepower it comes with this perfect all-wheel drive i system that uh, toyota implement in the last time and it's super good in the winter time on the snow on the icy roads and when the road is kind of slippery it will help you a lot also i see that they somehow install the electric motor between the wheels on the rear so you can see it down there they have such a good system toyota it's so well known for the reliability for the hybrid system they were the first one they implement this at a mass customer large scale they are really good from this point of view as i said before the car come with 160 horsepower combined with the electric motor with the petrol motor this is the power together around 200 uh, newton meters and also the consumption of the car 4.6 liter this is the estimated vltp consumption it comes with 36 liter of fuel tank capacity 782 kilometers this is the range of the car in vltp also the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front brake discs on the rear 17 inch rims standard independent mcpherson suspension with coil spring and anti-roll bar on the front and semi-independent coil spring with anti-roll bar on the rear we will see how is the suspension also in this video i'm right here in Switzerland at Emil Frey in Bern. I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car. If you want to see it, check it out, guys. Check them out. You will find out there the, the link. Now, what I want to tell you guys is that the model that I have it with me right here uh, with all these options is the adventure model. It's kind of the, the middle range version, it's not the top one. The price of the car with this model it's 36,800 francs of course if you want the the cheapest model that you can get it's 23,900 francs this is the starting price but the the model adventure model it's 36,800 and then you add the metallic color you add this beautiful panoramic glass roof and then you add the connected pack because of course you want android to work with your multimedia system and to connect your phone if I'm not wrong, you can connect also. Yeah, not sure about the Apple, but Android, you can connect it for sure. And the final price will be 40,130 francs. So those are the most important information, guys. I think I tell you almost everything. Let's drive the car and then in the end, we will make the conclusion. So let's do it, guys. All right, guys, so let's drive the car. Here is the key. By the way, the car come with keyless entrance. All you can do, have the key in your pocket electronic folding mirrors put your hands here everything work really good so toyota makes some very reliable and very good cars as you probably know let me put the seat belt guys where is this putting the seat belt okay what i want to tell you before we start those seats if you didn't see the review guys with the car check out on the channel the review it's probably there already the seats are wonderful i mean they are super comfy they are super wide and you have a very good comfort once you are here inside you can see that you have a tall driving position you can see the visibility around the windows it's very good because you have big windows here on the side big windshield big mirror up here so you have a good visibility in the back as well the shape of the window in the back is the same as on the rav4 so you have a good visibility in the back there also steering wheel position of driving it's perfect you have armrest here everything it's easy to reach press the brake press the start engine button and now it's ready to drive because you have that electric motor electric battery right now the car it's starting in silent mode so you start driving in electric mode and then when the car need more power it will kick in the petrol engine so it give you the power when you need more energy 
here is the screen you can go on navigation you can see the navigation it's easy to reach uh, i don't like the fact that they tilted a little bit to the driver to the passenger and i wish it was tilted to the driver i want to see it you know because i don't have passengers most of the time it's better to be tilted to the driver other than that great visibility on the head of display great visibility on the cockpit we will reset uh, the consumption so we will see what consumption will be in the end other than that blind spot technology in the mirrors you have the climatic system down here you can choice dual or you can choice one so you have this glass roof also you can see it in the full review video in this video it's all about driving so let's drive guys by the way if you go in reverse the car come with a reverse camera the resolution is not the best but it's quite okay then you have the driving mode normal mode and then you have the b mode in the b mode the car will regenerate more energy when you take the foot out of the acceleration i will show you as we drive and then down here you have electronic handbrake auto hold driving mode you have like two driving mode power it's like sport and then you have the echo mode like echo yes and then down here traction control and then ev mode you can go only in ev mode right now it's not possible because the battery but you can go also in ev mode so you can drive uh, a few kilometers only in electric mode then here you have this new because the car is all-wheel drive it has this i system where you are able to go in snow or in trail mode so that help you in the winter time with snow to not slip you know and you have a better grip anyway let's go in drive mode first of all we drive in drive mode you have also auto hold here i also activate it let's drive guys first impression it's very silent i like that also if i turn off the climatic system you will find out it has a nice a small noise so you will that noise it's for the 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 pedestrians to hear you for the people that walking outside but it's very silent inside here also over the bumps is doing a great job i noticed that there was a few bumps and it's silent it's it's smooth the pedals are quite smooth I like it. I like the tall driving position. Here are a few bumps and you don't even feel those bumps. McPherson suspension independent. Also on the rear you have semi-independent. Brakes are good. Visibility is just perfect. It's wonderful. Wonderful, I tell you. Love this. Now the, the, the petrol engine is kicking in. I can hear it already silent inside i love the position the position of driving it's it's lovely i tell you guys lovely position also you have a cruise control here that you can activate it so the car will keep the distance between you and the car in front first impression i cannot hear so much noise from outside so the sound insulation from the outside is good this is the normal mode if i go in b mode guys right now you accelerate when you take off the foot of the acceleration the car will regenerate it's kind of a break but a, a slowly slowly break so for example now i take the foot out and the car will somehow break and regenerate the energy back it's nice it's nice to drive the steering wheel feel nice um, I like the comfort I like the suspension I like the way it feels while you are driving here Wow it's lovely it's really feel like an SUV it has a lovely 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 driving feeling let's see here in roundabout take the curves Wow without any problem really nice and then take the foot off the acceleration you can see right now the car a little bit regenerate the energy back not so much just a little bit it's just the way it should be I should say I like it 
other than that it's lovely You can hear that the, when the, the, the electric engine is kicking in, you can already hear it a little bit, but you don't feel it, you know? Just hear it, but you can't, can't feel on the, uh, on the acceleration, on the pedal or stuff like that. So this transition is quite smooth. As you probably know, Toyota have some experience with those kind of hybrid cars. Right now it's kicking again. You can hear it, but don't feel it. will test we have to drive quite slowly here in the cities but uh, we will also test uh, at the higher speed we will go outside on the highway I like the suspension very much I like how easy it is to control the car Now we have also different driving modes. Um, right now we are in Eco mode. I just turn it to Eco mode. I will turn it to Power mode. Some, some, somehow like a Sport mode, I should say, is the Power. We will see how it's handling. But in the city, this is for this is made for the city. That's why I get, I go inside the city here to see how it's handling. And it's doing such a good job. It's so agile. I feel like it's it's wonderful. It's also in the roundabout, it's doing quite a good job. You can see you can turn around very easily. curious about the consumption we have 5.9 liters consumption until now keep in mind the car it's relatively new so it will need around 5,000 kilometers then the consumption will be lower so that's something to keep in mind but it's lovely you feel like you're in an SUV but it's very compact I think this is the the most the smallest is cross SUV on the market today and I have to tell you guys the thing that impressed me until now are the suspensions the suspensions are lovely guys lovely suspensions And if you want to park it here, it's a small space, you just go in reverse, you are in the city, it's made for the city, go in reverse, the camera it's perfect, and you can park it in small spaces without any problem, you have these parking sensors, and you're done, it's nice. Anyway, super easy, it's super agile, super small, super compact perfect for the city driving you don't need more than than this car can can do trust me it's just perfect if you're on the market for um, a cross SUV city for the city most of the driving in the city this is perfect and as I said before we will go outside a little bit so we will see how it's handling also outside uh, when you 
accelerate you can hear a little bit of punching oh, it's quite nice I like it and look at this it feels a little bit like a boat but it's lovely over the bumps lovely over the bumps I should say that it comes close to the Citroen uh, suspensions it is very good very comfortable I should say it remember me a little bit of Citroen C3 Aircross by the way I just reviewed it a few days ago if you want to see it check it out kind of similar suspensions in terms of comfort uh, but this one has in my opinion a better system in terms of um, hybrid system you know you have this hybrid system that is much more efficient and I think you can get better consumption with this one right here uh, but yeah now it depends on many many factors but yeah here are a lot of holes and over the bumps is doing lovely lovely over the bumps I tell you it's wonderful pedals are quite nice when you touch them quite smooth it's very good visibility in the head-up display as well I actually didn't look at all in the cockpit because I look only on the head-up display from from when I start driving I I just look only on the head-up display I have all the information right there about the car about the lane um, cruise control speed everything all the infos are right there in the front so you don't even need to look in uh, in in the cockpit guys only for consumption we have 5.7 liters consumption right now yes it's, it's incredible comfortable over the bumps and lovely visibility the visibility the position the driving how easy it is to drive it's it's lovely if i go in ev mode right now let's see if it doesn't allow me you can see i accelerate immediately you don't even feel when it's when the car do this uh, change between the hybrid and uh, the petrol system is is doing just perfect you can hear it but you cannot feel it and that's a good thing you have this transmission CVT special transmission it's wonderful yeah I know Toyota makes some lovely cars lovely systems It's like immediately you press the acceleration you don't have that lag that you feel it in other cars or hybrid systems you have immediately press it and go that that's something that I love about Toyota they know how to do those cars they do it in a lovely way So the, the, I feel already that the turning radius of the car, it's, it's lovely. You can turn the car in small spaces, 10.6 meter is the turning circle radius. Now I press the limit, I have the limit. Um, also I limit 
on limit. Okay, now I activate also the lane assist and you can see the car right now, it will keep between the lanes, it will keep the, the speed between me and the car in front. And if you go higher speed, it will go to a higher speed, 50, still keep between the lanes. Also this system, uh, lane assist system, look at this. I have to break here but the car stay very well between the lanes I also test in my other video this uh, lane assist and um, system and cruise control system from Toyota and it's very good I tell you it's really really good um, it really car car stay between the lanes um, at least on the highway it's it's very good in the city yeah all of the all the cars these days are not so good in the city but Toyota did a great job with this system, I tell you. Right now, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Also, right now, you can see, it's still C right here, the lanes. I don't trust it too much, uh, but yes, you can see right here. Uh, the car can, can keep the speed, keep the lanes without any problem. So you can definitely um, use it on the highway at long trips without any problem. And it's so agile. Yeah, let me go. Let let's go forward. Let's try this uh, turning circle, guys. The turning circle of the car. I think it's it's gorgeous let's go here we have some space here where you can where you can test this one and turn it around oh yeah it's it's really good it's really good it's really good if you go in power mode yes right now you are in power mode then if you want to accelerate oh yeah it's pretty fun pretty fun you can have some fun with the car without any problem it's super easy to control easy to drive it's it's lovely i tell you lovely i love it i love the car i love the way it looks i like very much the way it drives and you can get some wonderful, wonderful consumptions. Yeah. Beautiful. What can I say? It's just lovely. We are, we are at the end of the trip, guys. Actually, let's park the car right here. Let me show you how easy it is to park it. All you have to do is just go in reverse and then simple. I like also even though the camera doesn't have a good resolution, it's very easy to park it because it's big and and I don't know, it's very well orientated in the space. That was the drive test guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some useful information from here. I didn't go on the highway because I don't have so much time now. But I hope you make some idea about the car. Uh, I will give you the main points. The main things that I find it in the car are the comfort. The suspension are lovely. Uh, almost feel like a Citroen. Then I like the easiness that you can drive the car. I like the fact that it's super agile. By the way, 5.6 liter is the consumption. Not bad, I should say. You can get even better consumption if you drive it slowly. I also use the climatic system, it's on right now. So you can get better consumption. They estimated 5.1 liter, but I get 5.6 liter. Depend how you're driving, depend on many factors, I guess. I like the way it's driving. So the steering, the agility, the suspension, the visibility, it's gorgeous. You don't even feel when you change from petrol to electric mode, when it's changed, you don't even feel it. 
but you can hear it a little bit the engine you can hear it when it's kicking also the, the sound insulation from exterior it's good but not very good so that's something to keep in mind that was the video i hope you enjoyed it if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want i will answer with pleasure thank you very much for watching my video i really appreciate that also if you want to see the full review interior exterior with this new toyota yaris cross i will have a separate video on my channel soon just click the subscribe button and turn on the notification to see when that video will come out also there you find uh, all the infos about space material quality and stuff like that technical data also i will leave the link in the description if you are in switzerland around switzerland you want to buy the car check them out tell them you see my video you want a discount you will get your discount thank you very much for watching my video i really appreciate that my rating for this car from 1 to 10 will be 9.6 i should say i wish the price was a little bit lower i wish the navigation to be a little bit better but yeah i don't know the head-up display it's lovely it's gorgeous the cockpit here it's okay the comfort it's perfect on those seats i guess the price and a little bit of things here on the doors i wish it was soft material here somehow stuff material and stuff like that but yeah this is my rating guys anyway thank you very much for watching my video stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one and don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find all the infos about this car and other cars technical data everything videos deep deep thank you stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys